Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're still in Sanctuary, but that's gonna change really quickly because uh, today we're gonna properly head out of Sanctuary Hills. Uh, not permanently, I think we're gonna return here once or twice, but uh, for now, yeah, this is gonna be a temporary goodbye. So, first stop is gonna be Ten Pines Bluff, and Ten Pines Bluff is pretty much over there somewhere. So, to the the east is that the east yeah the east of um concord so we're gonna be heading over there so i'm gonna leave the power armor and the truck stop here so in the red rocket um because i won't be needing it just yet and i know i'm gonna return here one at least one more time so might as well pick that up later so heading through concord again and i'll let you guys know when anything happens on my way to Ten Pines Bluff, I actually find a few uh, interesting fruit plants as well. So that's going to help out with the food situation. But yeah, the satellite dish is over there. So I think Ten Pines Bluff is right beyond that hill over there. At least it should be. Gotta watch out for wildlife in this area as well. Because we might get ambushed by a bloat fly or two. Oh no, we're already at the excavation point. So wait. Wait. Ten Pines Bluff is supposed to be here somewhere, right? Oh yeah, Ten Pines Bluff is even further ahead. So this is Glitch Quarry, as uh, it's called by a lot of people, because as you can see, the textures often don't just load in. And then this place looks like, yeah, like this. It, it just looks like crap. Just these large, uh, flat surfaces with no apparent textures at all. Um, so Ten Pines Bluff, I think, is over there. Then I forgot that the excavation was in between this. Um, so let's move, well, slightly skirting around the satellite dish over there. We're actually getting really, really close here. And I do want to avoid getting right in there. Because I know that place is, is uh, taken over by raiders. Raiders aren't that much of a problem. But the problem is that they have more rats with explosive straps to them. And those guys might actually just kill me in one go. So I do want to avoid those. So just an empty refrigerator on the side of the road here. I know there's also another power armor suit uh, in the woods over there. And there's a fat man. The first fat man you can find. So the nuke launcher. Oh. Where is it? My hidden sign is twitching. So that means there's something nearby detecting me. Uh, so the nuke launcher is also in there, your first one if you want to have that, but that's going to be way too heavy for us. Might be just a, ah, a wild mongrel, but that, that's meat. So I do want that, there's a few of them here. Oh god. That's going to be the tree, right? Okay. That's one, the other one's probably coming as well, but mongrel meat. And there we go. Just kill him with normal shots. There we go. And that gives us two more pieces of meat. And meat is what we're here for. Okay. Ten Pines Bluff. We should almost be there. And I can hear the raiders firing at something in the distance. Probably more at, of the wildlife. Aha. A rat stack doe. That's more meat though. Get over here. Crap. Come on. Hello. Oh shit, that's another one. Um, let's use a critical on that. That's not actually... There we go. Because that gives me meat. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. It's fighting... It's fighting dog meat. Didn't want to have my bullets go to waste. Three bottle caps and more meat. Meat is nice, and rat stack meat is actually even better, because rat stack meat actually gives you, once it's cooked, gives you more uh, carry capacity. There's still something around here. Might be another rat stack dough, but I don't want to risk anything. Nope, it's a mongol. Is it dead? No. No, it is. And there's one more up there. Ooh, that's an alpha. I'm going to reload for that. There we go. There we go. First shot and then critical. Oh god. 
Are you gonna keep going? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Keep going. Shoot it in the face. Oh, my leg has been crippled. Oh, no, no, no. That thing does, that thing does a lot of damage. Ooh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Um, wow, seriously, is this gonna be the first time I'm gonna die? Um, yeah, then I need to get the Nuka Cola Quantum. I think that's the only thing that gives me health directly. Oh god, so that. I feel caffeine in your veins, and I think that also replenishes my action points. There we go. Yeah, I really needed to do that. Because I think it would have killed me otherwise. And that's more Idiot Savant for me. But my leg is crippled. Uh, and I don't know what the effects of that is going to be in this uh, playthrough. Let's check. So my leg is crippled, but I think I can just... Um, there we go. Stim back that away. I am parched now, but at least that's gone. So let's get some more purified water. We have plenty of that. And I'm properly hydrated. Okay. Leg fixed. But uh, that's a stark reminder that things are not going to be easy. And I think there's another mongrel around here because the game is still twitching. And that's where the criticals come in. That gives me a guaranteed hit. And I don't need to worry about anything there. I think oh, there's another one over there. But I know this one was here. Oh, and there's even a bed here. I should probably s save a Tempine's Bluff instead. Um, so I could get that one over there as well. Yeah, thank you, Dogmeat. There's at least one more, but the more Mongol meat, the better. A rum bottle. Well, that's an empty bottle. And a safe filled with caps. Nice. It says I was detected there. Okay. Please, game. Please, game. Thank you. There it is. That's just a normal one, so might as well just build up another critical on it. Is that? Yeah, there we go. Final shot. And another idiot's vault tick in the bag. So that's a nice batch of meat. Now let's head towards Tempine's Bluff before anything else, well, anything bigger shows up and kills me. Oh, and look at that. What a nice tato farm. Tatoes are great for food as well. So this is one of the parts... One of the reasons why I wanted to go to Ten Pines Bluff, even in this playthrough, because those are all potatoes, And I can just harvest them. Well, let's just talk to this guy first. Um, or a woman. Seems to be a woman this time. Hello. Hello, settler. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Um, we're, we're here to help. I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm here to help. I'm with the Minutemen. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Okay, but we are back. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. So, uh, I'll kick their ass. I'll kick their asses for you. No problem. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Yes, we're glad to help. So the reason why we're doing this is that this will open up as a settlement after that. Because right now I think these are actually owned beds, so I can't even sleep in that until we actually help these people out. Uh, we can craft here though. So grilled rack. Rat, rat stag meat is uh, 120 HP and 25 extra carry weight if you don't use it as food. And then the mud chops, we have six of those, so that's going to be our main food item at the moment. And then I'm going to grab a few potatoes just to get us going. Like five or maybe something like that. There we go. So those are going to be irradiated, but at least it's going to be a good, uh, well, food item if we need it. Now... Uh, I don't want to go towards the plane which is down there beyond the bridge. Uh, we're going to do that later on probably, but not right now. There's actually a water pump here as well, and I can use it. That's great. 
Instead, we need to go to the Corvega factory, and that's that one over there with the big uh, smokestacks and the orb over there. Uh, before we do that, because that's heading south, I want to go back west a bit, because there's a few more areas I want to check out over there. And maybe we can even find a bed there. Okay, so then we get to the train yard, which is definitely going to be cool central. And there's another mongrel over there. Might as well shoot it from here. That's a good triple hit. There we go, dog meat bit its head off. More mongrel meat for me. But really need to be careful with noise around these parts. I'm hoping that there might be something of a bed in that. Oh yeah, the ghouls are definitely rising already. Just gonna check that. That's a normal feral. It's also a normal feral, so two ferals. As long as it's ferals, I don't mind. Oh, that's a roamer. Oh, that's not good. Um, 10 millimeter pistol? Yeah. Uh, oh god, this is going to be a problem. I'm missing. Um, nope, nope, nope. Uh, oh, this is going to be this going to be bad. Um, oh god, oh god, this is bad. This is bad. Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah. Something happened. Um, oh god, that's gonna be a while. I didn't follow up on my own advice there, didn't I? So we're back at the Red, <laughs> red Rocket Truck Shop. Ah, oh, god. Okay. Well, we're gonna do the entirety of that again, so see you guys back when we're... Ah, oh, yeah, that's a stark reminder there of how difficult this is gonna be. So see you guys in a minute. There we go. With the shotgun, that's actually a lot better. That's what I wanted to do with the ghouls, but I was a bit too slow on the draw there. Um, okay, so we're back here with all the mongrels. I'm gonna put a safe down on the mattress in the middle here, but I need to clear out all the dogs if I want to do that. Oh god, a legendary vicious mongrel. Um, let's focus on that first. And then a critical. There we go, killed it in one go. So that's a that's a legendary. That means we get a legendary piece of armor or weapons from that. Bolstering leather left arm. Grants increasing energy and damage resistance to lower your health. That is great. I'm gonna equip that immediately. That's gonna help out immensely. So legendary enemies are enemies that are actually a lot stronger than normal enemies and can actually heal up once after they are hit, uh, which makes them even stronger. Uh, but they always drop a legendary piece of armor or weaponry, which is also great. So now I can equip the bolstering leather left arm, so up to 35 extra resistances once our health is low, which might help us survive. And then I'm gonna just drop the uh, other left arm right on the floor here, and then can we? Yes, okay. So there we go. So that's an autosave on that mattress. And uh, our shotgun is really where it needs to be. So that's going to be our critical hitter. While we use the pistols to, uh, well, get ourselves the criticals. The one thing I wanted to check now in Tempine's Bluff is I know there's a bed here. Aha. There we go. This one is not owned. So I'm going to just cook the red roach meat. And then I'm going to save on that one as well. So, we got the quest from the settlers, uh, so that means we can go into the general same direction as we did before, but of course now I'm scared shitless because of the amount of ghouls. I have equipped my uh, Molotov cocktails this time, so might as well try that out. If I can toss a cheeky Molotov in between there, we might be able to survive. So, back at the feral ghouls, let's just build up a critical as we did before. And there we go, that's a kill. I want to try out the Molotov cocktails as well. I, that was a complete miss, wasn't it? Where's the ghoul? There it is. And that last one was a miss, but that wasn't. Now we know there's more where that came from. 
or on caution. These guys aren't really use, useful to get our bullets wasted on, but at least I can check out that building after that. Ooh, there's, there's three more where that came from. I can't see the... Ah, I can't see the back ones. So there's three more, but where is that roamer from before? Let's get that going. Ghouls are stupid, so they're gonna run through the fire. Uh, so that one is on the floor. And they're gonna get... Yeah, so they lose their legs when you do that. Uh-oh. There's still a few down there. Or is there something behind me? I'm pretty open. I'm gonna wake that one up as well. Ooh. Come on. There we go. It's still danger. So I don't know what for. Oh god, there's a bloat fly over there, but... Ah, there's another one just on the ground there. Yeah. There we go. Still in danger. So I don't know from what. And we're so in the open. I know there's a bloat fly over there. The dog meat is pointing in that direction, so I might as well have to check that out. There is this Brahmin that I... Oh, there's... Yeah, that's a bloat fly. Definitely a bloat fly. Um, I'm going to use my critical on that, because I don't want to miss. Oh god, there's another one. There's another one. Kill it. There we go. One shot, one kill. There's another one over there. Is that one coming? Blood flies also have meat. Oh yeah, definitely coming. No, not 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 the head. The ass. He's gonna hit me, isn't he? I think he just missed. Okay, meat. That was a lot of enemies. <laughs> What a fight, a fight for the century. But now we should equip the shotgun. Because I'm not sure that there are no ghouls left in this place. There's probably more where that came from. Are you? No. It was already dead. Giving me a bit more ammo. I also want to be careful that I don't blow myself up here. Because I've seen stuff explode. Oh god. Oh, that's the Romer. The Romer is definitely over there. Um, let's go back outside. Ah, oh, there he is. Hi. There we go, level 7. And military grade duct tape, that's nice. Uh, reload the shotgun. Ooh, 9-10mm rounds. That is nice of him. Don't see any more ghouls left. So I think we should be fine for now. And the terminal here just displays what the uh, station was bringing in goods-wise. But there is a container over here. Um, fragmentation grenade, mine, and a close-sighted hair trigger 10mm pistol. Might as well take that, because uh, that's probably better than the one I'm using. So that's 23 damage. And that's also 23 damage, but with a bunch of extra... Bonuses probably. So let's favor that on the slot of the 10mm pistol and drop the pistol over here. So that's a nice hold at least. A bit of uh, weapons. Ooh, and there's two more empty bottles over here. So empty bottles means purified water once we find another uh, one of those. Uh, ooh, okay. One of those. Uh, ooh, Jesus Christ, I can't get a word out. Nuka Cola, Cherry, and Mole Rat Chunks. That is really, really nice. So, another one of those water pumps. Uh, we're still in open areas here, so I'm just gonna keep my pistol again. Now, this is, of course, the railroad station. That's the RR symbol over here. There is another feral ghoul here, but I should be able to kill him like that. We also gotta level up, remember that. Um... That's another ghoul, isn't it? But it, it doesn't trigger fat, so I'm supposing he's dead dead. Yeah, another roamer. I'm glad he's dead dead. And then we have Dutchman. Dutchman's instructions and the surveyor outfit. But 
Attachments instructions. Let's read that. Deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Come on, this man had to sleep here. I get the discovery music, so that probably means there's something in here. Although I don't see what it's supposed to be. You can check out the terminal. We get spotlight control, but we also get the tape. There we go. Let's plug that in and listen to that. She's late. No, something's wrong. Someone's coming. Look, five of them. It's a trap. Damn it, they've got us surrounded. What do we do? Uh, I'll draw them off. Give me a counter ten, then uh, break for the tree line. What? Dutchman, I... There's no time. Good luck, A9. And there we go. That was Dutchman was protecting a synth. So that's interesting. I never really uh, checked out the backstory of this place. That was a, a nice bit of lore. So Dutchman was protecting a synth in the, the railroad station here. Which of course fits, because if the railroad is the organization responsible for protecting synths, and they're in a railroad station. So that's fun. So there's one more train cart over here. Before I dive in, let's equip the shotgun. Because if there's any one of those ghouls in here, might want to check out... Well, blast them in the face. Aha! This is a sleeping bag. So that's nice. So let's just grab all of that. The skeleton over here. Uh, more mongrel meat and a railway spike. I don't need that, but... I think... I can sleep in here, yes. So that's another autosave. I do risk the a disease every time I do that. But for now everything seems fine. It's a risk. I have my antibiotics with me so I could fix that if I wanted to now. Oh, that's even better. Oh, flying Brahmin. Are those wild Brahmin? I think. What happens if they detect me? Okay, they detect me. But they're not mad at me. Brahmin meat is nice, but I think I'm good on food at the moment. Doesn't seem to go all that quickly. Aha! And we got the starlight. The starlight theater. That's also good, because I think I can turn this into a settlement without the need for anything else. There's more mongrels over there. There's tr at least three of them. But if I can clear this up... I need to just find the workstation. I can probably turn this into something nice. The Starlight Drive-In. So this is where people went to come and see the movie. So that's on that big screen. They just drove in with their cars and they watched the movie from their cars. Which is something we don't actually have in Belgium. Well, rarely have in Belgium. I'll, I'll say it like that. It's really something American, I think. I think... Oh, that was a caution sign. Oh, mole rats. Okay, mole rats are fine. Let's just shoot them twice. Twice. There we go. There's another one. There we go. Just need to be careful that I don't get... You know what? I'm going to just stand on the, on the table. There goes another one. The rabbit roll mole rat. Ow. It's just too late. Uh, so... Critical. And on this one, there we go. There we go. I'm actually poisoned, which is not good. I'm looking green, so I might have taken some poison damage. But these guys, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. We're done. A couple. Of, ooh, wow. Yeah, the rabbit one is actually a lot bigger than the other ones. I do need to be careful because there's radioactive barrels in the middle here. But other than that, I can make this into a nice little home, I feel like. I do need to be careful. I need to find the workbench first. Ah, wait. The workbench is probably 
over there in that shack. But do need to be careful about booby traps. Because if I blow up now, I'm back to, well, that train cart over there. But pretty much fine. I can open this up. Sweet. So that's open up. And now, I think we do get the, all the stuff in here. But is this now? Yes, we can now use the workshop and the Starlight Drive-In. Okay, before we do anything else, I need to just check out the, the station here itself because there might be booby traps. And if there's booby traps, I need to clear them out before I save a bottle cap mine. So that's going to be great. That's pretty much the most powerful explosives we can get. And a lot of empty bottles that will convert into something nice. Yeah. There's another bomb. I knew this place was booby trapped to hell. Um, and you can't take out that bomb in any other way. You need to be careful. There might be more explosives. So more food in the back building. Which is definitely great. But I'm looking for a screw. Because the screws are necessary. Ooh, a machete. I think this is... I feel like this thing would have screws, no? Okay. No screws for me. So that means... Can I actually make it now? Because I picked up a few things. No. Still don't have a gear. Oh, it's a gear. That's going to make it even more complicated, isn't it? Oh. Fuck me. Okay. There was a mine. On the screen. It blew my head off. I'm dead. That means we're back at the train cart now. I should have slept, god damn it. Okay, no more faffing about. Let's go to the Starlight Drive in and just get this done. So, killed the mole rats again. Now I'm not gonna waste too much time around here. I know pretty much where everything else, but I did already see that the bottle cap mine is now gone. Which is sad, but I'm still in caution for some reason. I don't know why. But. But, but, but. The question is, where is the mine then? Because I feel like I can't enter the cabinet. The cabin. The, the thing through here. No, I can't. Oh, there's another mole rat. There we go. Goodbye, buddy. So no faffing about, I'm just going to grab the, the workbench here and then sleep in the bed. Open that up, there's no weird stuff around here anymore, so let's just grab all the items. So we can put those in the workbench. So one night of sleep, but I'm tired because of a lack of sleep, because I haven't done a full night's sleep yet. Uh, so that means I'm just going to explore this area further and then... What the hell is that? Um, then I'm just gonna sleep a full night so we're at the morning again to continue our route along the northern side of the map. So the mine was at the top of that staircase. So let's just check that out now. There we go. There might be more. So let's go through the next staircase. Don't see one just yet. No mines over here, which is already good. But this is a good sniper spot. Not that we have a sniper rifle, but still. Empty bottle. And that seems like a locker. The back storage key. And for fusion cells and a tar berry. And more rounds over here. Okay. That's something. Now we can open up the, the storage room with ease. Check that out for more food, because now we can just open that up. Wait, back storage. Oh, there's another door here. I never saw that the first time around. But I don't think there were explosives over here. Just a lot of food items, which is perfect for us. So let's check this out. We can open up the door and... Oh, wait, what is that key for then? Got it. Probably move back. Because there might be more explosives. Because whoever lived here was really keen on explosives. Aha. But there's some really nice items here. Um, so let's grab all that. I'm just going to grab everything. And that's a fusion core. 
And that's for power armor. And then... Blamco. Nope! I'm gonna use a shotgun on a rad roach. There we go. Seems like overkill, but that hurt. Well, it didn't actually really hurt that much, but... That was a surprise. And then we have this safe, which is expert locked. I don't think I can pick this. Huh. But usually on an expert lock, there's a key somewhere close by. Ah, and there's a desk fan. I need that desk fan. That desk fan is going to give me water. And gears. Gears. And gears is what I need to make uh, a water pump. A water pump. So that was weird. So I, I got a key, but apparently not for this room. Yep, there we go. We got actually four gears. I don't know where that came from. Probably from the, the desk fan. That's great. Oh, don't need to stand that close to all of that. So let's put that right here somewhere. And now we can use that to fill up our bottles. I wanted this. You can't sleep more than five hours on a dirty mattress. Oh, you awake still tired. Okay, that's not that much of a problem. Because um, I'm just going to make a proper bed then. So there we go. Let's sleep on that bed. That's going to be... Let's take eight hours. I think eight hours is a full night's sleep for the game. So I'm going to get the well-rested bonus after that. And then I can eat and drink up to get everything back up to speed. So that's an autosave. I'm well rested. There we go. That also gives us a bit more experience. And then I can... Where's the... Ah, there's the pump. Um, I can actually eat up first. There we go. Properly fed. And then we can just yank the water pump a bit more to get uh, properly hydrated as well. There we go. That was really quickly. And then we can go to the cooking station and make some more food. And with that, we're ready to get going. So, as I said, we're going to continue our way west. Uh, I need to use the bridge as a bit of a guide here. Uh, God, God damn it, I keep running into that. Because there's one area I still need to go to to get properly set up for survival here. There is a book that will allow us to get double the food items from anything we kill. So, double the meat from anything we kill. So, if you move up into the hills... Ah, we're gonna go to the diner first, it seems like. We're gonna get that first. Um, should be fine. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's... I'm just gonna grab the dress for this. Um, although that's that's too charisma. I'm not gonna do that. Whoa, whoa, easy there, vault girl. This doesn't involve you. It doesn't. Um, lower your gun, please. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. That's it. You're dead. Okay. You Ow. Um, I've been crippled already. So let's just shoot Wolfgang with a critical. There we go, there he goes. And I'm dead already. Okay. Ugh, I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out? You'd use an extra gun, or maybe you talk some sense into Trudy over there. Um. If I help, I expect to get paid. I'm not here to haggle. You'll get whatever I feel like giving you. Got it. Now what's it gonna be? Well, I'm gonna shoot your ass. What just happened? Um, let's shoot her and then shoot him. Bloom! Oh God. Where, where am I? What am I doing? What, why can't I, what? It's over for now. Jesus Christ, that pretty much killed me. Um, I, I killed them both, but I'm already also almost dead. Let's check that out. I'm actually pretty okay. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, I'm technically not crippled yet. I thought I was, like the first time around, but... Let's use the purified water. There we go. Let's get my heart rate up again. Um, Insta mash. Ooh. 
braced shadowed leather left arm but sadly that's the left arm i'm just gonna grab it to see what the benefits are because uh, if it's better than the legendary thing i have i might as well do that a metal right arm that's a bit too heavy to my tastes so right now at a, i'm at oh it actually shows us i'm at 28 damage resistance and 28 energy resistance because of my low health um but we also get the braced shadow so braced is extra damage resistance but only a little bit and shadow is probably better stealth but i'm gonna drop that i think my leather left arm is better at that point um let's talk to trudy here this is for you now if you ever need to trade my shop's open might as well check out what that's gonna be so order up completed she does have a short hunting rifle that would be the first one we get but it takes 308 rounds and i don't have many of those i'm just gonna wait so th thanks trudy can i steal anything from you i i could but i'm not so here's her son that was uh, in trouble because of the uh Nothing you know the drugs again, i swear yes yes you swear but at least we uh we killed some guys um yeah simone and wolfgang are now dead we decided that all by our own and we definitely didn't have to Reload that safe. So let's keep going. Oh god, blood bugs. I could actually just <laughs> kill them like that. Die, die, die. Okay. Those are horrifying. Uh, so no meat. And no meat. No. Just the ass. The ass again. I have no idea what that bunker was again. Um, I'm also completely lost at the moment. I think I need to go to those big tanks over there. I don't know what this is. Can I can I talk to you? No. There's a Mr. Handy behind this turb. Okay, and I hear shooting outside. But just check out the terminal. Yes. There we go. We can open up the security door like that. That opens that up. The Mr. Gutsy is definitely dead, but I want to avoid explosives again yeah okay so he has 0.44 rounds don't really need those fusion shells yes and that's basically it because we don't have a magnum or anything like that anymore or just yet and there's a bed in here yeah let's just sleep there might have been dirty oh dog meat what are you doing over there now it's a bit silly you Silly dog. I don't know why that eyeball is actually protecting this place. Uh, there's a house over there, but I think that's the nightmare house. I uh, don't want to check out the nightmare house just yet. Oh, who are you? A gunner. I have no issue with you, gunner. I am going to take the mongol meat, though. But I don't have any qualms with you, gunner. Because gunner, gunners are really strong bandits, basically. Okay, come on, dickhead. If you want to shoot me, you can die. There we go. Just going to stand in behind this tree here. Still in danger, so I'm guessing there's at least one more raider over there. Oh, there they were. Hello. Don't know why I'm missing him constantly. It's 60% 60, 60 chance, okay. That means I can actually try and check that out. Because it might give us some more ammo or stuff like that. Squirrel on a stick. And gumdrops. So double food. And right away a Maddox is going to come in handy as well. And then the guy downstairs. Oh, they actually have a chemistry station here. And another mattress. I know to save off now. So I'm going to do that. But where is his corpse? Ah, there he is. There he is. Nothing for me. Okay. A dirty mattress, but at least it gets me a save. And then we can keep going. The pork and beans are going to get us a few rats. That's the lake house. Uh, there's a lot of raiders over there as well. There's a few interesting melee weapons over there. But nothing I particularly want. So let's just head up there. I could scout around from the outside and get back onto the road. Although I think it might actually be way too dangerous on the road. Let's see, I just got a save point, so might as well try that out. So, the dam. 
The dam can be booby trapped as well, so I'm just gonna occasionally press vats because vats can't attack the mines. Aha! There we go. Are there more? That's at least one frag mine. Explosives are always tense, and I think that's even an engine that can explode even further. That's one. Because if I miss that prompt, I'm gonna die. So I need to disarm. Oh god! Oh! My leg! Damn! Okay, there was another one. I'm gonna check again. Lucky the engine didn't explode. And as you can see, we're going through our resources rather quickly. So that's again a stim pack and some purified water. There was another mine up here. Now, we need to be even more careful because that's probably not the end of it. Because if there's one underneath the tanker, that's going to make things even more complicated. I know I'm leveled up, but just want to make sure that we reach over there before I activate that level up. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Can I open that up? No. Okay. Okay, we made it through the bridge all right. Almost killed me, but still alive. And that's a nice fusion flea. That's the name of that car, by the way. It's one from uh, Fallout 3 as well. The fusion flea. And I think that means we have arrived at where we wanted to arrive. So, this is going to be ghouls. Ghouls, as long as we can keep our distance are fine. And I think most of them are actually relegated to the different buildings as well. The Sunshine Tidings Co-op. So before we can access the workbench, I don't know what that... Oh, so that's P Professor Goodfields. I love that guy. Professor Goodfields is amazing, but we need to start clearing out the buildings one by one. So might as well start with this one. So that's basically a, a Mr. Handy that's constantly high. So Dogmeat is blocking up the door, which is great for me. Oh, I think I'm hitting Dogmeat there. He's doing some great work. Thank you, Dogmeat. That was amazing. So that's our first two ghouls. I'm just gonna shoot away. Aha! Military fatigues. Military fatigues are pretty much the best undergarment that we can get right now because that gives us five energy resistance but also double the agility and it goes underneath our leather stuff so that means we can finally get rid of the fold jumpsuit as well so there it goes there it goes so pipe pistol in hand we're gonna go from building to building i think is that another one? Oh, there's a rad roach i'm gonna focus on the buildings that we're at so i think if i just stand up here Actually, shoot the rat roach. I think there might be another one. Or not. No. Okay, so this is the drugs house. And that's a restored desk fan. That's nice. So also indicating that there might be something fishy about this room. We'll check that later on. But I think there's... Is this the room where there's like a... A hatch to go deeper? Doesn't seem like it is, but this is... It's weird that there's like an immaculate piece of uh, equipment here. Especially since the desk also looks pretty good. If you compare it to other things. The Yushanka hat. I'm gonna have to check that out. That might be pretty, pretty nice. I think it started to rain as well. Plus one intelligence. That's not something we need, right? The bowler hat is plus one endurance, so that's better. Yeah, it started to rain, so that's why we started hearing that funny noise. So more ghouls over here, I think. Or is this guy dead? I think he might be dead. He has more bullets, though. So more ghouls where that came from? No, no, no. He skipped the door. He's cheating. There we go. And that gets us back to hidden. He skipped the door. That wasn't very nice of him. And then, okay, so this is the fungus house with a settler that has another squirrel on a stick. Don't mind if I do. And this is what we're after. There we go. The Wasteland Survival Guide. Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills. Let's take that. That's exactly what we're here for. Uh, aside from, of course, having another settlement for ourselves. So it's kind of implied that this area was also eventually settled upon by uh, drug dealers. Or at least heavy drug users, because there's a lot of drugs to be found in all of these houses. Um, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so I 
think you can access this house from the back. And that's a withered ghoul, so I'm really glad that that's not alive. Although I think that's that corpse is always there. Uh, and then we have two or three more houses and then the center building. Almost there. So double rat roach meat, so that's starting to uh, become a really, really nice help there. So the more meat we get, the less the food is going to become a problem. Um, but at least we can gather up some food before some of the areas that don't have any... Uh, uh, well, either animals or cooking stations. So there's another rad roach over there. If I could actually hit it again, because my immaculate aim is uh, giving me issues again. And then the center building. I'm not sure if there are actually ghouls in the center building. I don't think there are. So that means that we can just grab those final things. I think dog meat just opened up that door. That was a bit weird. Um, but then we can get the workstation. And I've learned by now to just use the workstation and then um, save. And there we go. I'm as stubborn as myself, uh, as I always am. I'm just going to open up the terminal before I even save. And we get another, uh, another level up th from that. But the log from the people here, Alan, we finally sprung a sleigh from the squares for our Freedom Farm co-op. And Mr. Handy from the Naderville suburbs, the thing can wicked out trying to go back to his slave. Owners almost clued the fuzz onto us. So Johnny noodled it out and he and zonked his motivation protocols to just be. Now we call him Professor Goodfields, just digging the world as it be, owing nothing to nobody. Careful with his other protocols, these can knuckle creeps if they go. Wait, these cans, knuckle creeps, if they go ape. That's interesting. And now we could technically control the Mr. Handy, but I'm not going to do that because Professor Goodfield is just the, the best. So that's why Professor Goodfield is the way he is. Um, I think you can even, I don't think you can talk to him. See, he just freaks out every time you do that. And then after some cookings, you can, you can actually check out uh, Louise's new dud, the uh, military gear. She looks actually really, really strong right now. That's a strong outfit, isn't it? With the ladder on top, she's ready to face the world after she died about three times um, this episode alone. But um, with that done, I'm going to just check out my perks. Because we actually have two to spend right now. I could go into... Uh, no, lockpicking is one more perception. I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to build that or build further. So we can go into Gunslinger uh, 2, which makes pistols even stronger. Or take the fir first perk of Rifleman, we could do that as well. So that's 20% more damage with the shotgun and that's going to be our high critical uh, performance. So might as well do that first. So Rifleman now. And now we can go with four leaf clover. So each hit in vats has a chance of filling your critical meter. That's going to continue our uh, well luck build. Or do I go... Could go also with Scranger to find more ammunition in containers. Um gonna wait with that i'm just gonna go with uh four leaf clover first although grim reaper sprint is also not bad although it has been nerfed considerably considerably uh so let's just go with four leaf clover so feeling lucky you shoot each hit in vats as a chance of filling your critical meter fully and with control of the sunshine tidings co-op we can actually take a little break so we did three settlements to in this episode and got the Wasteland Survival Guide, which now helps us gaining more food. So now we're ready to go to the Corvega station, which is going to be... I don't know where I am right now. There we go. I was going to do some dramatic walking, but apparently the game doesn't agree with me there. So uh, say goodbye to uh, Louise for now, and see you guys next week on the next episode of Fallout 4 Survival. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.